morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video on Azure, we'll see how to integrate Azure File Storage with Azure Active Directory Domain Services (WVD) for our user profiles. So, if you remember, in our previous video, we deployed uh, Azure ADDS. That's a managed domain. It's in running state, and the health is uh, good. And I've also gone further and have deployed uh, WVD with the name Girish. In this, I have only one instance in the host pool. And uh, we'll test it out how we can integrate Azure File Storage to store the user profile. So there's only one session host. So let's get started. And the first step that we need to do is to create a storage account. So I'm going to go and search for it. Pick my resource group, give it a name. Buy this in Canada Central, rest everything, I'll leave that to the default. I don't think so, I need to change anything and uh, review and create. Storage account is created, so let's go inside. And uh, what I want is to turn on under the identity, the Azure Active Directory Domain Services. For that, under settings, I'll go to configuration. And uh, if I scroll down under identity based access for file share, you can see that Azure Active Directory Domain Services is available and it is in disabled state. I'm going to enable this and save. With this also done, let's go to the access control and uh, let's give an add role assignment. And in this case, if I go to drop down, I have a couple of options. So you can see storage file data SMB share elevated contributor. So I'm going to add this and uh, I will give my Azure ADDS administrator this elevated access and click on save. And I will also add uh, the contributor access for my other users. So storage file data SMB share contributor. I'll add group one under my user DS1 and DS2 are present. All right, so that's been taken care of. So that's good. Now the next step we are going to do is to create a share and it will be a file share. So let's go and add a file share. I'm going to give it share one name. And uh, I'll specify a quota or 50 gig because it's just for testing purpose. And I'll use the tier hot. Generally in the production environment, you want to use maybe a transaction optimized and premium because that gives you better IOPS. But I'm going to use hot tier for this and click on create. Okay, so the share one has appeared, so that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a machine, which is a domain joint to my Azure Active Directory domain services. And let's map this so that we can provide uh, further NTFS permission for our users within group one. So I've already initiated the RDP session with one of the machine. And what I'm going to do is open the file explorer. And I'll go to my desktop. Just minimize this a bit. So let's go to map network drive. And I'll take the drive letter Z. If you want, you can always change it. And uh, I will also check the button for connect using different credential. And I need to give the UNC path. And the UNC path, I'll get it from my storage account. So this are storage account and file share. If I go to the properties, this is the path I need to give. So I'm just going to copy this, 
go back here and uh, just change this as for the Windows Server requirement. Click on finish and I need to provide now Azure with my storage account, which is my storage account 10111. The password is the key for my storage account. So if I can go back under access keys, this is the key it is asking about. So just go and show key, just copy this and uh, let's provide this here and hopefully I'll be able to connect to it. All right, so you can see that uh, the share has been mapped over here so that's good and it is with the drive letter z so what we're going to do further now is to provide ntfs provision so i'm just going to go inside the properties of this share open the security tab go and edit and what i'm going to do is add the first thing i want to do is i want to give full access to my user with the name wvd join and I'll give full control to this person. Apply. Okay. And uh, for my group one user, I'll give the modify access. Perfect, so with this being done, now what I'm going to do is go to my machine, one of the session host in my host pool. And what I've done is I've already downloaded the FSLogic uh, software over here, right? So I've extracted the file. I'm just going to go and install this. So this is the machine within my host pool. And I'm going to go to x64 release and it's just a very simple setup so this is the one i'm going to just install the software that's the underlying technology so microsoft bought fs logics a couple of years ago and uh, this is what does the uh, uh, magic under the hood All right, so the setup was successful. Now I can close this. And what I'm going to do now is go and open the registry because we need to make certain changes here. So go to registry editor. I'm going to expand HKey local machine. Under software, I'll go to FS logic. And here I need to create a key with the name profiles. And in this profile, I'll also create a D word value. And the name of that one will be enabled. And uh, I need to give it a value of one. And one more thing, I need to create a multi string value with the name VHD locations and Microsoft is very stringent. So you need to make sure that it is exactly as per this naming convention. And I need to provide a value over here. And the value is the path, the UNC path where these user profiles will be saved. So let's go back to my file share. Go to properties. And let's just copy this and uh, just input it over here. Click on OK. If you get an error, you should be fine. Let's go and click and close. And I'll say give it a 
restart for all these settings to be taken place. So while this machine is getting rebooted, I'm just going to pause the video quickly. All right, so the machine has rebooted. So now what I'm going to do is uh, test this out. And for that, I'm going to go to the web client and uh, try to access this and see if my user profiles are saved. So this user is uh, assigned within my host pool. So let's go. It might ask me to change the password, but let's see. It asked me to authenticate, so let me just quickly do that. Okay, this is because of the policy which is there because the subscription I'm using. So you can see that I'm logged into this. I'm just going to go in and provide credential one more time and hopefully I'll be able to get inside my desktop and uh, my FS profiles should start getting loaded. Okay, so I get the green check mark and you can see that FS Logic App Service has kicked in and we're going to verify it by going into the file share. So let me just quickly move over there. And if I go into my file share, you can see this is my user DS2 and its user profile has been saved. So in this video, you saw how you can integrate Azure File Storage with Azure Active Directory Domain Services. WVD and the underlying technology it is using is FS Logics. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.